Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that covers every item and trinket and character in the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is Tracy Chapman doing yes. bad on stage. Fuck, Will Hughes. yes, Gary. Gary, god damn it, that feels good. <laughs> yeah, did we were in sync. We were absolutely, I was going to go, I got a fast bomb. <laughs> <laughs> this song is about something serious. Um... Garrett, yeah. we're doing fast bombs, uh, and we're good friends. Uh, you know mm-hmm. how this, you know, I, I know this item sucks. Wait, <laughs> I don't know where you're going with it, given that you you prefaced it with we're good friends. But please continue. No, no, two separate thoughts. Because uh, okay. they give you seven bombs instead of five. With this, it's one. such a funny little bonus. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> two. Boy, just giving people five bombs with this seems underwhelming. It's it's like when you tip like fifty cents. Mm-hmm. You know, it's worse than no tip. Uh, and the, the use case for this is nothing. The use case for this item is nothing. It looks cool. Yeah. It's a, it's it a looks, neat looking item. It looks cool. It gives you seven bombs, which is more than five. <laughs> uh, it, it's, um, and it st- it stops you from waiting between setting bombs, which is a mechanic you may not know exists. Yeah. It speeds up the, <laughs> the pace at which you can drop bombs. It also stops them. Uh, the DLC made them not knock into each other. So theoretically, in a video game that wasn't about fighting, but is somehow about planning demolitions. Sure. If this was Blast Core, we'd be in, like, it'd be gravy. Yeah. yeah the, the Isaac Red Gorilla. Red Faction Isaac Gorilla or something. Gary, you ever but, play Blast Core? Play what? Blast Bla- Core? Yeah, for the N64. A, uh, no, I've seen the cover a lot. Oh, man. Blast Core is actually really fun. It's got a lot of extraneous, like, collectathon bullshit in it because it's rare. Sure. Uh, but the basic well, I find that kind of, of bullshit like, not to be rare at all. I find it very common in video games and trouble. Oh, 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 oh is this, is this Gary, Santa? with your hot takes, it's me, Santa. Hey, Santa. How's it going? It's good. It's I, good. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Did you get bit? I was delivering presents in Transylvania, <laughs> and I got some fang- thanks for nothing, I said to the guy who bit my neck. Ah, oh, dang, Vampire Dra- <laughs> Dracula Santa. It's me, Vampire Dracula Santa. Very nice Borat. Oh, hey, Vampire Dracula Santa. Very nice Borat. Can I tell you that I've been a good boy uh, this year so far? You know who else has been a good boy? Who, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen? My wife! Oh, she's I'm, a good boy. Oh, I'm turning into a bat deer. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, that, I guess that means Mrs. Claus is probably single now. I hope so. And and ready to mingle, Gary. Absolutely. You know, there's only one way to console a vampire widow. And I mean, a Harkness, that shit. Yeah. So uh, and then, I mean, yeah, just play the quarter main to her Harkness. Yeah. I mean, uh, the, the League of Extraordinary Gentle Cock is coming. Can I get a clean read on that, Gary? <clears throat> The League of Extraordinary Gentle Cock. Great. And there's your ringtone, everybody. <laughs> there's the, the Everything to Guppy <laughs> annual ringtone. Yep. Please send it to Alan Moore so I can get an angry comic book resources <laughs> uh, interview. <laughs> like, oh, man. What are we going to talk about with Fast Bombs? I mean, uh, Gary, you know? we're doing our best. You know, not every episode needs to be 10 minutes. Hey, you know, uh, Vampire Santa Claus, Vampire Easter Bunny is Benicula. Well... No, he's just a bunny. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just saying in terms of vampirizing our holidays. I, I guess so, but, like, there's lots of bunnies who have nothing to do with Easter, Gary. Can you imagine Vampire Casimir Pulaski Day? Discovering Illinois and sucking all of the blood out? Finding out you had cancer of the bone? Yeah, yep, and uh, kissing. You know, just one time. Yeah. yeah. Gary, I dropped Sad. a pretty obscure musical reference there. But I, I picked up on it because there's that, that kiss in there. Yeah. I know that song. I love yeah, that. And I, I love that album. That's we're just, talking about. Sufjan Stevens, Illinois. For yeah, come on those of you who aren't cool with us. Yeah, the uh, with with two thousand four's greatest uh, hits here. That's that's um, one of my like maybe top five albums all time. I you know, not there for me, but it it is my. It's the Sufjan Stevens albums. I I'll, Stufian Stevens album. I like. I'm not a real big Sufjan Sufjan guy, but I like that album. Did you spend much time with uh, Carrie and Lowell? I did not. Carrie and uh, just a little really bit good. Time. Yeah. Admittedly, it's like about death and grief and stuff, and it hit in 2015, so I was in the wheelhouse. But I, the subject matter for that is good to me. I like his songwriting when it's slightly more peppy than 
uh, his most dour numbers. It can't all be Kashmir Pulaski Day for me. You know? I mean, Gary, I live every day like it's Kashmir Pulaski Day. I live every week like it's Kashmir Pulaski Week. I live, I live every, I live every week like, like it's, it's Dr. Pulaski. Pulaski Month. Like it's Dr. Pulaski uh, episode. What? Of Star Gary, Trek- I, I got so into like TMG. the bit where we were trading back and forth time periods that I stopped listening. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking about uh, Dr. Pulaski from later Star Trek Next Generation. But, but not too later because she was only she was seasons two and three, I believe. Oh, <laughs> well, I can say anything after season one to be later. Yeah. Starts with Gates McFadden. And then, yep. oh, God, now I can't remember uh, the Dr. Pulaski's actress's name. Uh, I don't not remember her, but I, I'm only in it for the Tasha Yar year. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the Gates McFadden. After that, it's all just late at TNG. And I'm not interested. Yeah. Gary hates Riker's beard. Yeah. I, I, need, I need a baby face, disgusting Riker. I need aimless amoral shit plots hey hey there you're not gonna did we make it up or (laughs) is it the truth (laughs) who's this it's me it's disgusting Riker hosting ripley's believe it or not or whatever i hosted (laughs) oh it wasn't that beyond belief disgusting there we go yeah how's it going disgusting right we made it up sorry oh shit hey uh i passed i I passed a breathalyzer the other night can i uh no we made it up can i can I rub your face? It seems uncommonly porcelain-like and smooth. Yeah, it's like a, it's literally a baby's butt. Yeah. Oh, I, had a tra- yeah. I had a transplant. Oh, gross, man. Who's baby? Uh, who's Plaskies? not, you know, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? You, you never know how many un- children you have. Right, right. You know? Especially yeah. if you're if you're go if you're spending as much time uh going Cruising down on ladies as, as I do, as disgusting oh, Riker Lord. does. I could have a, a million children probably from how much cunnilingus I perform. Well, especially like the thing about uh me is I have this beer just to slow down my Here's the th- here's the thing here's the thing though. You're yeah. like you're probably like you heard that and like, well, cunnilingus can't get a lady pregnant. It can <laughs> if I was just sucking a dude off. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't thinking that at all because I knew exactly what you meant. You're doing a Mississippi uh, Delta Quadrant turkey baster, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> Gary, if people enjoy the show. What should they do? Surprise me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on Patreon, Don't, like pick up. I guess pick up. Like if you have any way to reroll fast bombs, reroll fast bombs. It's if you have any way to reroll this episode, do it. Yeah. Uh, Patreon.com <laughs> slash DuckFeedTV. Branches um, off I, that path, man. Yeah, I actually won't reroll this. I tend to pick it up because seven bombs is is better than a lot of crap you can get. That's fair. <laughs> that you is know? completely fair. Yeah, it's it's a garbage item though. Uh and then you can also leave us rings reviews on Apple Podcast or Podcast Addict, like uh like this one from RF Saxophone, Gary Butterfield, my dad, and Will Hughes, my dad, fish for guppies or something. I don't know, they never invite me along. And that was a five star review. We never will. And we yep, nope, that's that's daddy's private time. Mm-hmm. That's that's when two daddies get on a boat, and what stays on that boat happens on that boat. It's just Good too <laughs> Good night. I was going to say, it's just, it's two Fredo Corleones waiting to see who goes after who. (laughs) 